Okay, change of plan. It's been a few days since I did the wrap up of this video. And as I was going through editing, I'd got to the point where we just sort of that gray blue, this building, and it just looked right. It looked so much better. Even though this is close to what I want, that just looked better. It sat with the cats better as well. You know, seeing, envisaging this on top of that. So we're gonna come back and do that. And also I wanna make the moon a, t a touch more silver. It's a little too gold. It's on the cusp of sun right now. So let's just make up a fair bit of that grey. Oh, trust me, this is the paint making that, that sound, not me right now. Put a little blue up there. Oh, sugar. And a little black. So let's just mix that up first. And that's already quite close to the shade that we had. Some blue in there. for a bit more black. There we go. Touch more blue. Yeah. I quite like that. That's going to be a nice building colour. big old flat one. Well, biggish old flat one. We're going to have to be very careful when we get around the tail, so we still want to keep it straight across. It's not so bad on the outside here, because that was just pure black, but on the inside, we're going to have to be careful. We might swap brush for the inside, so let's just be bold, be brave, and do this.
This is probably going to take more than one coat. That's okay. This is going to be what we want. It really looks better in person than in real life. between the tails, this is where it might be wiser to go for a smaller brush. Let's just rest him in there for a moment.
Looking good. Looking good. Let's get around this side of the table. Big brush looking for the larger areas. Starting to pull the microphone wire around me. And the chair's creaking a good one. One more layer. Too long to dry because it's very neat paint this time. 
not washed down at all. So I will actually what we'll do before we do anything else is that, that touch more silver to the moon, then we'll pause. What are you? Ourselves a teeny tiny little dot from somewhere. Okay. Yes, yeah, silver of the moon. Brush getting clean. So, touch a pearl white. You're going to come, whoop, yep. A little bit more than a touch there. Touch of silver. Yeah. Alright, so let us merge these two. Just to bring that yellow back a bit, it's a bit too yellow. Already looks way better. Not so golden. Good. So, gonna let that dry. Come back, give that another coat, and then it'll be done. That looks better. It just didn't quite. Something just wasn't sitting right about it. I knew it could be better. So this is this is where it should be. So we're going to pause, let that dry, come back, give that a coat, let that dry, and redo the final shot. If the moon is now fine, it just needs to be brought back the tiniest bit. So sometimes this happens, you'll think you're done. You'll have questions in your head. You'll know when you're done for sure. But if you have a question in your head, that means something about it isn't quite sitting right just yet. So I'm glad I didn't get in contact with my friend to let her know this was finished, because it wasn't finished. Will be finished, so I already feel so much more better about that and about this. And you'll even see the difference between me acting on this right now and um, how dilly-dally I was when I was going from all the different attempts that I did with this. All the um and ah and should I do this, should I do that? Whereas right now, I just did this and this is good. Same for that, I just did it and this is good. So I'm happy with these now. Like I say, that just needs another coat because it's a bit stripey in places. So I just want it to be nice and smooth. So yeah, we're gonna pause, come back in about an hour. Maybe not even that, it's already dry in certain parts. Give it that final coat. And then perhaps an hour or two after that, so it's dry and there's no reflection going on anywhere and we'll do a nice final shot with the revised tale of two kitties so yeah back in a moment okay we are back and dry enough to get the next coat on so let's just whip up a bit more Yeah, 
bit of the black. Maybe a bit more black. And a little bit more blue. the excess off the brush on here first. We swap to the bigger brush. Total wobble. The nails come in handy. I don't mind that line being a bit wibbly wobbly, but that was a bit ridiculous.
There's one stray hair on this brush. Try and keep him poking inwards so he doesn't. Straight away, we don't want him. And streak up there somewhere all of a sudden. brushes with us. Right, I think we might swap to the little brush just for in the gap there. Should put one more piece across there if we can because that doesn't seem to be touched upon yet. do just one more silver on the moon or not. We'll see, let's just get in between the cat's tails first. Very carefully. Right. 
one more silver on the moon just to take that yellow back a tiny bit more don't want to do that. Keep getting tempted to dip it right in the middle of building colour. We don't want that. It will set us back a tiny bit. We can fix it, but it will set us back a tiny bit. Magnet there for me right now. So close to doing it all the time. done. We are going to let that dry and redo the final shot. Well, that'll probably be tomorrow now. I'll give this overnight to dry fully. But yeah, that's looking better, I think. I'm more happy with this than I was with the blue wash. I wanted it to work, but it just wasn't working. It wasn't applying like it did on the test strips. This is good now. I like this. So we're going to keep it as it is. Let it dry. And then tomorrow after the final shoot, get in contact with its owner so it can go to its, its home. Their home. So yeah. We'll do all our sum ups and everything when we come back when it's fully dry. But I do like where the moon is now. That is... It was a bit of a, not an eyesore, but it was just far too yellow. And we do on occasion get the really rich, clear, larger than normal, um, sort of yellowy, orangey moons every now and again. And they do look beautiful, but that was just more like a sun, a sun at night. Um, so yeah, much, much happier with that. So yeah, back in a bit when that has dried. Hello, we are officially, say that, we are officially done. Dry, happy, happy. So this can now go to its rightful home. I'll be sending a message out today. Um, so to reiterate on what I said before, because I did feel good about it at that point, but then as I was looking at it, it's like, no, look, I've only had this around for a few days being at that point finished and I was finding things wrong with it. Now, if this is going to go to someone's home and they're going to have it for potentially years, they're definitely going to find things wrong with it. So had to get it on point. This does look better 
This looks less like a sun at night and more like a moon, which is what we want, it's what it is. And I was concerned, hence the wash, with this detracting from those, but it doesn't. It looks like it is a part of what it should be. Um, so yeah, I'm much happier with this result. It looks better, it looks finished. I wasn't happy, I think like I said yesterday after I finished painting that, I wasn't happy with how patchy the wash had come out. It, like I say, on the test strips it came out nice and even and smooth and it wasn't like, it wasn't like this was wax and I was putting a wash over the top of wax. Um, that's how it looked, where it all split in certain parts. It needed to be flat and if we couldn't get it flat, this is how it had to be because it is now flat, not patchy not looking like a poor attempt at a wash. Even though it wasn't a poor attempt, that's what it looked like. We just couldn't have that. So yeah, much more happier with this. There is a tiny glimmer on the leaves, which is nice to see as well, so I never touched upon that. Just a little highlight where the moon's catching them, so it's not obvious, it's not in your face. And yeah, was always happy with how the cats came out. Wasn't unhappy with them. It was just the building and the moon. Um, so yeah, other things you can take away from this is sometimes it is good to sit on your work for a little bit before you send it off. You have got to be 100% happy with it before you go before it goes anywhere. If you're doing work for someone, and even if you're doing it for yourself, although being if it's for yourself, you can then take it off the wall and touch it up whenever you feel like. But if it's going somewhere, you want to be 100% happy with it. So yeah, I am now, this can go to its home. Um, so yeah, to reiterate from the short take that you'd have seen but a few minutes ago to this point, again, thank you so much for coming and checking this out and seeing a tale of two kitties unfold and be completed. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope there's things that you can take from this if you have a go yourself. Um, and as always, patience is key. So even though that was all done with patience, it still needed that little bit of time just after we thought it was complete. I thought it was complete. To look at it, be like, no, it isn't. We can do better. We can do better. And we have done. I like this. So, yeah. Thank you. Um, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. <laughs>